I just came back from uh, Indianapolis, Mark Adams School of Woodworking. I had uh, two classes, wood carving classes. Uh, one we just uh, carved and another one was based on uh, ideas of design. Okay, uh, I explained the different rules and uh, different uh, principles of design for wood carving, how to draw for wood carving, how to understand shadows and so on. Okay, and uh, in a class, a wood carving class, we carved hazelnut, which is uh, really surprisingly, uh, it is common for European cultures. I grew up in Russia and uh, hazelnut was a big deal. Uh, you know, we loved nuts itself and uh, we did a lot of stuff from uh, hazelnut, we did uh, fishing rods and uh, we weaved some stuff and so on. Okay, so hazelnut was a big deal. But in the United States, uh, you know, when you say in, uh, hazelnut, uh, people think of uh, just the coffee flavor okay or chocolate uh, with the hazelnut which is in most cases european chocolate either german or belgium uh, chocolate with the hazelnut but people don't know how it looks uh, and how it tastes uh, in real life in the united states that was a little surprise but anyway uh, so the class was excellent uh, wonderful uh, people really excellent class was sold out uh, pretty much but uh, it wasn't full just because of the pandemic uh, and people didn't show up because of the travel restriction and uh, some fear uh, you know but uh, it was really uh, really safe place actually yes we had to have uh, face masks everybody had uh, to have a face masks and a social distancing and so on all that uh, was uh, <laughs> applied to the class but, uh, overall uh, it was just an excellent excellent experience class you must have a lot of patience and do not get frustrated <laughs> yeah, you really don't get this angle from the concentrate on one area really depth because when you're a beginner and you don't know what you're doing at least you have one spot that looks good <laughs> um, it's been a real challenging project that is as far as I've ever gotten and I thank, thank you for everything it's been fun I've learned a lot of stuff and mm -hmm. I feel like it was worth the time uh, did you carve before? Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not a lot. Not very good stuff either. Mm -hmm. um, class was great. I definitely really liked uh, the challenge that it brought. You still like my class? Oh, absolutely. I've mean, yeah. got two more this year and there'll yeah. be more next year. So four total this year, huh? Four total. Um, and then uh, we'll see where else you are next year and when. I've already been told by someone that we're going to Maine next year sometime soon. Yeah. Sometime so. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> I, I enjoy it. First the, time carving, so. Right. It, it, it was difficult to see the 3D. And I, I'm I'm starting to see a little bit. It's like driving through the fog in the morning. 
I can maybe see just a little bit of 3D. That's it so far. You work on something, you start picking at it, and then you move over here, start picking at it. I mean, I can whittle this down to really, really thin. Yeah. Where do you quit? You know what I'm saying? Well, Kate. <laughs> I love this class. I think this class, everybody should experience this class. Not only for the wood carving, but for the life lessons, for the camaraderie, uh, tidbits of information that you learn. Um, it's fantastic. There's, you can't carve wood and be upset. Mm -hmm. um, it just calms you, uh, puts your mind in a different place. Um, I had a little trouble, or actually I had a lot of trouble with the 3D aspect of it. To be able to take a flat surface and turn it into a 3D image on a sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. For me that was the biggest challenge. And it still is. Um, <clears throat> no, this is uh, wonderful. Yeah, thank you very much Clifford. All right. I like the stories, the history, mm -hmm. your background. It's always uh, makes it better to connect the man to the to the project. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much. Thank right. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm here with Alex, and uh, this is my fourth year receiving instruction from him, and. Uh, we're doing a uh, project of hazelnut floral display, complete with seeds, pods, and um, I'm working on making the uh, branches airborne. Wow, that's good. You like it? Yeah, very nice, very nice class. Okay, that's good. Thank good you. to see you again. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Um, class was great. I definitely really liked uh, the challenge that it brought, um, especially kind of like Cliff was saying, getting into the 3D, uh, just thinking in 3D and mm -hmm. depth and essentially uh, not being afraid to dig a little deeper, mm -hmm. especially when you make mistakes. And turning those mistakes into creative design elements. Uh, no, no, if you understand what we started, we just did the shape. I mean, that was what we did, just uh, like a fisher boat or just a leaf. And we start dividing and dividing and dividing. Thank you. Class, absolutely. Lots of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Here you go. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, good. really proud of what I did and glad to bring us home and show it off to everybody. Yeah, that's good. Let me show the project. <laughs> Here you go.